the rap box. Oh my gosh. Oh. 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 This is a bloodbath. Seconds remain in round four. Both guys are standing much more flat footed in these exchanges, Mike, as they continue to help. Was it over in this round? Getting out of the way of these shots. This is the last round, right? Round four? Oh, please be the last round. Please be the last round. Nice high kick. Oh, that was it. So you want to be an ultimate fighter. They couldn't even stop the bleeding from him. At least, at least Robbie's bleeding is stopped. The cornermen were able to, you know, bring it to a halt. They couldn't get McDonald is just leaking. Ah, nice Superman punch. Robbie hands down going for it. It may very well come down to these five minutes, partner. Nice we've got to get Ah, well, that's right. Nice. Oh, goodness. Nice head kick. Oh, good left hand. Ah. Look at how ferocious Lawler is. Ah. Here in the 21st minute. He got Rory looking like an alien. He doesn't even look real. Oh. Oh. Hands down. Celebrate, young man. Hands down. One of the most brutal moments in UFC mixed martial arts history. Period. Period. You are watching Cashmere California TV. This is the rap box. We only talk about rapping and fighting. That's it today. I am here to talk to you and celebrate with you to say that we were right. Max Holloway should be and new and again UFC champion of the world. Shout out to, I forget the podcast that I was just watching, but shout out to them. They know who they are. They don't need my shout out. I'm a little guy. Shout out to them interviewing J Big John McCarthy. And he said, and I state, Max Holloway definitely won that fight. And you got to believe Big John because Big John, as he said in the podcast, and as we all know, anybody who knows the history of the UFC, who knows the history of what Big John has actually done for the UFC, if you didn't know, even naming it mixed martial arts, at least that's how the story goes, let him tell it. I agree with him. I would never disagree with Big John. He wrote the rule book. That's fact. So if Big John McCarthy... Referee extraordinaire, UFC background legend, foreground legend, one of the greatest to ever do it, says that in his rule book that he created on how to structurally point system, rank, grade, score a fight, he's saying, I wrote those rules. There you go. Here you go. Mixed martial, let me tell you what I, what I want him to do. Okay, if he does this, I should be that. If he do a, oh, because sometimes he might then do, oh, okay, well, then that got to be, oh, but what if you, oh, yeah, 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 because if he did that, oh, that's crazy. That's, yeah, yeah, one of those. If he's the one that wrote that down, and now he's saying, yeah, when I look at that, and then I look at that fight, oh, yeah, and new, Max Holloway wins the fight. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? The, the person that... Come on, what do we... The person that wrote the rule book is saying that he had it three rounds to two. 
4847, Max Holloway, first, second, and third. He gave Volkanovski fourth and fifth. I don't I don't I don't fight that. I don't fight that. I think that's exactly what I might have had it 4-1 when I watched it back. Like I was kinda in the middle. I was kinda in the middle. Between 3-2, 4-1, but no way did I give three rounds to Volkanovski. So for all of us out there, we have been vindicated by the GOAT referee, Big John McCarthy. Thank you, John. Thank you. Because I know y'all was kind of feeling it like, okay, did he? Did he, Was it bad judging? I mean, can I go back and watch it and kind of give Volkanovski more rounds than I thought? You know, you have to do that. You have to do it. It's easy just to go, oh, boo, judging is bad. But for those of us who it really means something, too, it's like you got to kind of second guess. Like, am I just, did I see what I want to see? You know what I mean? Did I, did I miss some things that I didn't want to see? But when you go back and watch that fight, Max Holloway changed up so many things from the first fight. He had Volkanovski never in rhythm. He had him off his game the whole time. Every time Volkanovski got ready to do something, Max was able to keep the kicks out there, keep him at the end of the jab, keep him like pushing him to the right, into that right hand. I mean, he was strategically picking him apart. Like I said in my first prediction, or not my first, my prediction, my recap of the, of the fight, I said now, uh, shout out, <clears throat> um, shout out to Rogan. Uh, I think he was the first person to say this. I was going to say somebody else, but yeah, I think I said Joe Rogan because I feel like he was the first one that said that he scores the championship rounds with greater velocity. I get that. I'm not mad at that at all. And if that were embedded in the scoring system, then there's an argument to be made that because um, Volkanovski on most cards won fourth and fifth round, that might that might outweigh the first three. I don't know what that scoring looks like. I don't know if it's like, okay, but if we move forward scoring higher for the championship rounds, then you can only get up to 10 for the first three, but you can get 11 or 12 for the fourth and fifth. I don't know. I don't know how that would look because then I could end up in a draw easily, easily. So, um, so yeah, so though we're going to take that out of it. Though that's a great point that Joe made. At the end of the day, it's not the reality of the scoring system. Now, the reality of the scoring system, the way that it is today, is the way that Big John McCarthy says, said, continues to say, will say next fight, it's that way. And so if these athletic commissions that are, and the UFC are picking these judges or sanctioning these judges, they need to understand that rule book. Because the person that wrote the book said you got it wrong. It is what it is. That's not opinion, that's fact. Yours was opinion. Mine's is fact. So, thank you, Big John McCarthy. Thank you. And thank you, Robbie Lawler. Thank you, Robbie Lawler. I don't know if Robbie, uh, I mean, I'm assuming Robbie retired because I haven't seen anything from him in a while. But if you did, salute. Robbie Lawler is one of the GOATs. Definitely goes down in the UFC Hall of Fame, the MMA Hall of Fame. One of the craziest warriors, brought us some of the greatest fights and greatest performances. So shout out to Robbie Lawler. I don't know why the video all of a sudden turned into something about Robbie Lawler. But when you got that across your shoulder, you better say something about that man. Is he still looking? He's still looking. All right, y'all. Cashman, California. I'm signing out. Peace. The Rap Box.